Welcome to another portion of Quick Clip Tips. Welcome back again folks. It's been coming up on my older videos a lot uh, about storing your guitar. How, what's the best way to store your guitar? What should I do when I put it in storage for a while? How long how long is storage? I mean, you know, is it two weeks? Is it a month? A year? Six months? What? So I thought I'd make a little video and share it with you about how I store my guitars, and they get stored more nowadays than, than they are played by a long shot, because usually I'm right here doing this. Uh, one of the things I like to do, if I'm going to store it for a month, and not play it for a month, I like to loosen the strings. Not completely loose, just uh, the way I do it, it's like when you hit the uh, first string open, that's an E, find it, right there, okay, and then back up one step, that's two fret, and then tune your first string down to that note, that's a D note, and then tune the rest of the strings accordingly, and you're dropping the entire tuning down one step or two frets. Uh, Especially, this is especially for acoustic guitars, electric guitars, you know, not so much, but I still do my electric guitars that way. Uh, you know, they expect some tension on them. You don't want to loosen the strings completely and just leave them lay in a case or hung on a wall or somewhere, you know, with no tension at all on them. Bad things can happen if you do that. But that's one of the things I like to do. Uh, I like to give it a good uh, cleaning before I put it away for a month. Uh, just get some good cleaner that, uh, you know, won't chemically react with your finish. And uh, not necessarily abrasive cleaner, but just like a polish, a polish what I'm trying to think of. Polish the guitar up good. And, uh, you know, make sure there's no fingerprints and stuff, because if there's fingerprints left on there, you put it away, like right here, I see some on this guitar. I don't know if the camera will get it. Yeah, I see them. I've seen them. Right to, all up and down through here. If you put it away and leave that, that can uh, become permanent in your finish. Uh, another thing, uh, if it's got chrome on it, you want to polish that chrome really well. Look at this. Look how nice the chrome is down in this area as compared to up in here where it gets handled a lot. Polish the back, the sides, all over the, the entire guitar. Loosen the strings. Um, another good thing to do is if you have uh, tuners clipped up here on your peg head or uh, any you know tuners or anything clipped onto it take in, take that off no matter where it's clipped at don't put it away for a month or longer with you know things clipped to it capos or tuners or whatever take all that crap off when you put your guitar in the case assuming you store it in a case which I would highly recommend storing it in a case rather than hanging on a wall hang on the wall is okay but you know anyways when you put it in the case Make sure there's nothing between the guitar and the, the uh, that furry stuff inside of the case, you know what I mean? Don't put it in there and take your, you maybe carry a rag around and wipe your strings off with. I've seen people just throw it over top of the guitar, shut the case on that. That can leave uh, bad, it can be embossed into your finish if, you know, left very long like that. Especially if it's lacquer. Well, poly too. Poly's would take a little bit longer, but it probably would do it with it too. But it definitely does it with lacquer and it does it quick. So, uh, it's just a few tips that I wanted to share with you about storing your guitar. If you have a strap on it, take the strap off. Do not allow that strap to touch that instrument any time it's laying in the case for long periods of time. Uh, what else? That's about all I can think of, actually. I just want to make a quick uh, tip video and tell you guys about that. I'm getting ready to make a new nut for this guitar and uh, lower the nut action on it. I don't know what it is, but it's extremely high. I'm going to do a little bit of work on that. And uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope this helps you guys. Got a video coming soon on polishing a guitar. I haven't forgot that. Tips on polishing. So watch for that. Say I love you. See you soon, folks. I love you. What? What? I love you.